Someone breaks into a mansion and spends hours breaking things and carving obscenities into big screen TVs. You might think it's the work of kids getting their kicks. But Rob Wojcik says it might also be somebody seeking revenge. He's here now with a problem solver investigation. Rob. Hugh Monica, Fox 2 ran the story about the million dollar mansion getting trashed last week. I flipped when I saw it because I know that house. I've been to that house. But it sure wasn't to hang out with the millionaires who own it. What does this guy, this guy, and this guy got to do with the horrible breaking and ransacking of this multi-million dollar mansion? I came in like a wrecking ball. Vandals broke into a multi-million dollar home in Oakland County. Just like you, I watched Fox 2's Robin Murdoch report on this seemingly random act of vandalism. They'd stab open uh, cans of olives and let it spill all over. The horrible destruction of a palace like this was so newsworthy, Oakland County Sheriff Mike Bouchard held a press conference. Didn't look like a lot was, if anything, was taken, but quite a bit was damaged. Who'd do something like this? Could it be this guy, this guy, and this guy? <laughs> no! These are the guys who actually lived there! I know because I did a story about them. Let's go back 11 years. I was out on the streets, the asphalt jungle, so to speak. It's real shoddy, shoddy, shoddy work. Ginny was a lady who'd been flattened by a pushy paving company. The year was 2003. How did you hear about this crew? He came to my door, Saul did. That's Saul, the leader of the crew. They had extra black top left over in their thing. Yep, the old extra black top happened to be in the neighborhood trick. Ginny fell for it. They said 250 a square foot, but after they did it, they came out in and said they were charging us $4,500. And they wanted cash. Now! They muscled the money out of Ginny and a few of her neighbors and moved on. They hit neighborhoods all over with the same spiel. The man came knocking at the door one day and asked me if I was interested in getting our driveway paved. And by the way, these guys weren't known for their quality work. Look at this lady's driveway. For this, she was charged $3,000 and the big guy collecting the money meant business. He wouldn't leave until he got his check. The leader of this crew of travelers, as they're known to law enforcement, was Saul Williams, a guy who I found out had been busted a bunch of times all over the country for what was called an asphalt scam. Many of the travelers were Saul's own relatives, including his own kids who ran machinery they weren't old enough to be operating. I thought Saul was just a crude, dishonest slob eking out a living until I saw his house. Yep, apparently the, hey, we're in the neighborhood with some extra asphalt ruse was incredibly lucrative. Saul and his family lived here north of Clarkston on the same street as Kid Rock. I did a special Lifestyles of the Rich and Infamous Hall of Shame story. What a mansion, an estate fit for a king. Then I saw the story about the million dollar mansion being vandalized and recognized it. That's Saul Williams' house. Yep, he still owns it. I'm coming home, I'm coming home. Tell the world I'm coming home. Let the rain wash away all the pain of yesterday. Well, it's been 10 long years since I've been out here and Saul Williams and his paving businesses have continued to make people mad all over the country. Which leads me to wonder, was this really a random act of vandalism? Or is somebody out to settle a score? Any thought that maybe this was some kind of a revenge thing? Yeah, and that's certainly, you know, within the range of possibilities that we'll examine, whether it's a retaliatory or uh, some kind of personal revenge. Sheriff Bouchard says whoever did this spent a lot of time destroying things. A lot of ransacking, even paintings moved. Um, not a lot of things missing. It has a look and feel that it's more personal. And there's no question Saul Williams and his crew have racked up many, many more enemies over the last 10 years. Just Google the Williams name and there are articles from communities all over the country. The New Jersey Attorney General's office hit Saul with a $17 million judgment for consumer fraud regarding the asphalt scam. And Saul Williams was charged with more than a dozen criminal counts in Florida a couple of years ago. 
He also owes the IRS a few hundred grand. And his kids aren't model citizens either. Saul Jr. has his own U.S. Marshals Wanted poster. Says, Williams may be running with others in gypsy paving scam rings. Hey Saul, it looks like your road to riches is just paved with problems. Now I tried to reach Saul Williams, but I have no idea where he is. One of his neighbors told me Saul and his family would come and go from the house for weeks at a time while they were on the road doing business. He said the last time they left, they never came back. That was more than a year ago. The original Hall of Shame story from 2003 is a hoot to watch. We have a link to it on MyFoxDetroit.com. Pula Monica? So any idea who actually broke into the house? I don't have any idea who broke into the house, but it appears to be some kind of revenge. It appears to be they were definitely targeted. Um, these people, Saul Williams and this group, as I had mentioned back in 2003, they're a group of travelers. They go out, they run these asphalt scams all over the country, they hit a town, they move on to the next town, they carry huge sums of cash on them, forty, fifty thousand dollars $50,000, and so who knows who did it? There's gonna be a lot of suspects. It could be other asphalt companies that they've burned, suppliers that they've burned. They kind of lived by their own rules, so. Made a lot of en enemies. A lot of enemies over the years, even in the government. You know, I, I believe the IRS is looking at them, so. And with all this cash, he could be anywhere. He could be anywhere. In fact, um, the New Jersey case, they had a $17 million judgment against them, the Consumer Affairs Department of the Attorney General's office, and Saul didn't even show up to court. He fled to Arkansas. So, you know, Maybe. good luck catching the people who broke into the house, good luck at catching Saul as well. He may be living in another mansion by now. <laughs> he he <laughs> may be. Know, yeah. he, exactly. he probably is. Probably so. All yeah. right, Rob. Thanks, Thank Rob. you. Wow.